Hi guys, so today I'm just doing a video on my neutral lipsticks that I have in my collection. Um, so there's just a few by MAC, a couple by Wet n Wild, and then one from Revlon. So a lot of them are similar in color too, they're more on the orangey orangey brown side so um, you'll see a lot of similarities in them but I just wanted to go ahead and show you so that way you can kind of compare them yourself um, just get an idea of um, what these shades look like so that I'll start off with wet and wild so the first one is um, this one here and it's ring around the rosy this looks like that it's like a it's like a brownish shade, but it has some pink to it, and I'm wearing that one right now. And what I consider neutrals is something that can kind of go with anything, like depending on whatever whatever your makeup might look like. A neutral to me is something that can kind of go with any any makeup. So I'll just swatch that for you. Just looks like that. And the next Wet n Wild is 913C. And this one's more, it's a really matte, um, matte finish. And it's still got that brownish pink, um, pink to it. I'm just put it side by side with that one. It has a bit more orange to it, I guess. Just looks like that. So let's move on to MAC. And the next one is a satin, and um, it's called Mocha. When I bought this, this was like the only shade I wore every single day. I just, I felt like it went with everything. If I just um, kept like neutral makeup, this was always the lipstick that I grabbed every day. So um, at the end of this video too, I'll put in pictures of me actually wearing them so you can kind of get a better idea of what they look like, but it just looks like that. Very similar to the other one, but just swatch it again. Looks like that. It's a little bit lighter than the other ones. Very, very similar though. Let's see which one we want to do next. Um, let's do Half and Half by MAC. Oops. This one, the tip broke off, so I'm kind of just left with the stub part of it, so I can't roll it all the way up, but it's more of a lighter shade. It's like a light brownish pink. This one is an amplified, so it's a bit more creamy, not as matte, very creamy texture. I like this one a lot too. It's kind of a nude as well. Kind of goes with everything. The next one is taupe. This one's kind of similar to mocha. Mocha has a little bit more orange in it. Taupe is more, I think, on the brownish side. Not much, but taupe is very similar to um, Ring Around the Rosie by Wet n Wild. that one. What, uh, Ring Around the Rosie, Rosie was the first one I swatched. This one has a little more pink in it. And this is taupe. It's a little browner. It's just a slight, slight difference. And then the next one is more of a pinkish neutral and it's Can't Get Enough by MAC and it's a Sheen Supreme. It's got a little bit more shine to it. This looks like that one, the one on the top. Okay, and then I just have one more to show you. It's kind of a pinkish toned neutral as well. And it's by Revlon, and it's Blushy Nude, 637 Blushy Nude. It's right there. So 
This one's a bit more of a pinkish tone to it. And I'll go ahead and show a picture at the end with me wearing it. But that's just what it looks like as a swatch right now. So yeah, those are all of my neutral shades. Most of my lipsticks are like in the pinkish family. But I just wanted to pull out all the neutrals and just kind of show you, um, show you those. Yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know below. Thank you for watching.